everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to do a review of the Titan Dip Machine. It is going to a new home, so I want to do a quick review of it before it actually left. And the reason I'm trying to get rid of it is, or the reason I am getting rid of it is because when I have to start jerry-rigging stuff, I hate that because if the machine is not functional as is, and I have to start jerry-rigging it in order to make it more functional and hit the body parts that I want, then it's gotta go. The same thing in the public gym, when I was there, and I had to start jerry-rigging equipment because it was broken or what have you. I hated that and it's like, why am I even here? Same thing with this machine. If I have to start jerry-rigging stuff, why do I even have it? So let's start with the things I don't like about it. Number one, it's a little bit nitpicky, but the arms, I feel like they should be in a little bit more so I can hit my triceps a little bit better or my chest when I'm leaning forward a little bit. It feels like it's just a little bit too wide and I'm just, it feels like I'm focusing more on shoulders than I am on tricep. So that's a little bit nitpicky thing. It doesn't really ruin it for me, but it's just a little bit of a thing that I wish they would change. The second thing is, when I start putting weight on the back, it feels good. And then when I start going above my body weight and trying to get stronger, I kind of get lifted off the bench. And this is where I have to start jerry-rigging stuff and put either dumbbells on my feet or put something up, put a rubber band or something around my knees to keep me from lifting up off the bench. So that's the part that I hate and that's one of the reasons why it has to go because I can't use the machine to its full potential or to my full potential and get stronger because I have to start jerry-rigging stuff to maximize the weight. So that's the biggest reason why I'm getting rid of it is because I just can't get stronger with it because I'm lift getting lifted up off the bench. So those are the things that I don't like about it and that last one there is the one that nailed it for me and said it's gotta go. But I do like about it that it, the seat is at a 90 degree angle and you can use it for multiple things. You know, you can use the bench alone just for some biceps, uh, some tricep, uh, overhead press. You can use it for those kinds of things. Um, the bench is comfy, it is comfortable, it adjusts on the bottom. So it is very comfortable that way. But again, when I have to start jerry-rigging stuff, that's when I call it and the machine has to go. It was fun having it. It was enjoyable, but I'd much rather have the freestanding dip machine. So that's my review on it. There's not a whole lot to it, and that's the major thing that I don't like about it. Jerry rigging, no good, not for me. But if you're not as strong and you just want to have a nice machine, it is pretty nice, but I want to keep getting stronger and progressing in my goals and getting stronger, bigger, better every single day. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. If you like the review of the Titan Machine and you want a different review of something else, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.